People often ask me, Andrew, how do you become an ultra marathon runner? Is it the physical training? Is it the mental training? And when they ask me that, I laugh at them. <laughs> That's how I laugh at them. After I finish laughing at their question, I go on to explain that it has nothing to do with the physical training for running an ultra marathon, and it has nothing to do with the mindset of how to run an ultra marathon. You have to look like an ultra marathon runner to become an ultra marathon runner. It's that simple. So in today's video I'm going to show you exactly how to become an ultra marathon runner and how to succeed at ultra marathon running by showing you how to look like an ultra marathon runner. And once you heed my advice you'll be running ultra marathons like I do. So the first trick to become an ultra marathon runner is you have to have the correct headgear. You can basically wear anything that you like that looks pretty cool. And by anything I mean two things. You wear your Hoka 1-1 cap but you wear it backwards. Notice how much cooler it looks backwards. So yeah, that's one of the things that you can wear uh, as an ultra marathon runner. And the other thing that you can wear is of course the buff. Some people wear any old headband, but to become an ultra marathon runner you have to wear a buff around your head. So you can either wear your Hoka 1-1 cap or a buff. It usually has to have the buff logo like you can see sort of right there. That's the first thing that you have to wear. Uh, obviously you can wear glasses, some sort of sunglasses that make you look pretty good. Like I'm wearing in this video here, you can see that I'm doing an interview for a Turkish uh, documentary. You can see that I'm wearing the sunglasses, I'm not wearing the correct cap, but I mean the sunglasses make me look the part. And now as you can see I've gotten down to the chest torso area. Uh, this is where I'm wearing a t-shirt, but it's not any old t-shirt. First of all it's, it's a buff logo t-shirt as you can see. Second of all it's two sides is too small for me uh, which is what you want. You want to show off your muscles uh, if you have any and a lot of people say that core training is good for running. What they're trying to say is core training is good for you to look good when you're running. Uh, that's basically the real reason. As you can see my, my torso looks alright because I'm wearing this extra small shirt and I mean my arms are looking pretty good and I'm looking quite buff in this shirt and that's the look that you want to go for. You want to accentuate any muscles that you might have and by wearing these tiny shirts that are too small for you will help you achieve that look and that and that goal of becoming an ultra marathon runner. I understand some people might have a bit of a stomach when they're wearing these tight fitting shirts but the key is to suck it in and um, try not to breathe heavy when you're running these like 100 kilometer 100 mile races just just suck it in the whole way. Um, I mean you won't be able to breathe as well when you're running these huge distances for hours and hours and hours. That's the that's the key to succeeding in an ultra marathon. So now we've got the headgear and the shirt covered. The third thing that you want to do is get a good pair of running shorts. It doesn't really matter what sort of shorts you have as long as they come up quite well above the knees as you can see my leg and make sure that your legs aren't too white. If your legs are too white you're not going to succeed in that look that you're trying to achieve by becoming an ultra marathon runner so I mean you don't have to get skin cancer by by running out in the sun all day you can just um, apply some sort of bronzing agent or something just to get your legs a little bit browner um, to achieve that look of an ultra marathon runner. If you're not into tanning agents uh, if you don't like the smell or the mess or something I'll tell you my little secret which is what I like to do is I like to soak my legs in a bathtub full of tea bags and obviously water. I'll use about three to four boxes of tea bags and soak my legs for about 30 to 40 minutes. I use twinings. Um, if you can't find twinings an Earl Grey will be fine uh, to do that as well. Another trick that I used to become an ultra marathon is I started wearing these gloves. These are Zensa gloves from Zensa Compression Apparel. What's cool about these gloves is that you can actually use your smartphones with them because they have these little uh, padded fingers so you can swipe your finger across it. But that's not the reason why I wear them. The reason why I wear them is because you look good wearing them. They have this nice velvety sleek design to them so when you're running an ultra marathon you've got these on. People automatically know that you're an ultra marathon runner because you're wearing these things. They'll see you and they'll be like that person, that person right there knows what he's doing. Now one of the most crucial elements of becoming an ultra marathon runner and succeeding as an ultra marathon runner is wearing compression clothing. Uh, I recommend Zensa not just because that they work but because they make you look so good. I'll give you an example. As you can see these compression garments show off my butt so well.
Look how I'm doing this. Notice that? Notice how my thigh just looks so good. What about socks? Some people have problems with blisters and they use uh, these Injinji toe socks. But the real reason why you want to wear them is because they look good. And some people think they look cute, so... And, I mean, that's only a bonus. So now we've got the clothes out of the way. Uh, obviously, everyone asks, what shoes do you wear? I use Hocker 1 1 shoes. The reason why I wear Hocker 1 1 shoes isn't because they're such good shoes. It's because a lot of people are winning races in them now. So when people see you wearing Hocker 1 1 shoes, they'll look at you and they'll just automatically think that you're a winner. And uh, that's definitely the look that you want to go for. I mean, once people see that combination of Hocker 1 1 shoes and Njinji Performance toe socks, and they're going to look at you and they'll be like, that person right there, he's an ultra marathon runner. We know that because of his shoes and his socks. So there you have it guys. So I hope that these uh, important key points have um, have helped you on your journey to becoming an ultra marathon runner. Take my advice because there is no better advice than what I've just given today. No matter what you read on the internet, people going on about how it's a whole mind thing and how you got to train for months and months to prepare yourself for an ultra marathon. I would suggest training in front of a mirror to how you're going to look while you're running that ultra marathon. Your mind and body will already be trained. You'll be able to go out there and run 100 kilometers, 100 miles. You'll be able to do all of that because you will look like an ultra marathon runner and that is the key to becoming an ultra marathon runner.